Welcome to Westminster Presbyterian Church and to this, our weekly Tuesday service. We are thankful that you are here. And as we gather to worship, let the Holy Word of Life remind you who you are and to whom you belong. Come, let us worship together. O oh Lord, our sovereign, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory above the heavens. Out of the mouths of babes and infants, you have founded a bulwark because of your foes to silence the enemy and the avenger. When I look to your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars that you have established, what are human beings that you are mindful of them, mortals that you care for them? yet you have made them a little lower than God and crowned them with glory and honor. You have given them dominion over the works of your hands. You have put all things under their feet, all sheep and oxen and also the beasts of the field, the birds of the air and the fish of the sea, whatever passes along the paths of the sea. O Lord, our sovereign, how majestic is your name in all the earth. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, the earth was a formless void and darkness covered the face of the deep. While a wind from God swept over the face of the waters, then God said, let there be light. And there was light. And God saw that the light was good, and God separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning, the first day. And God said, Let there be a dome in the midst of the waters, and let it separate the waters from the waters. So God made the dome, and separated the waters that were under the dome from the waters that were above the dome. And it was so. God called the dome sky, and there was evening, and there was morning, the second day. And God said, Let the waters under the sky be gathered together in one place, and let the dry land appear. And it was so. God called the dry land earth, and the waters that were gathered together he called seas. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, Let the earth put forth vegetation, plants yielding seed and fruit trees of every kind on earth that bear fruit with the seed in it. And it was so. The earth brought forth vegetation, plants yielding seeds of every kind, and trees of every kind bearing fruit with the seed in it. And God saw that it was good. And there was evening and there was morning, the third day. And God said, Let there be lights in the dome of the sky to separate the day from the night. 
and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years, and let them be lights in the doom, dome of the sky to give light upon the earth. And it was so. God made the two lights, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night and the stars. God set them in the dome of the sky to give light upon the earth, to rule over the day and over the night, and to separate the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good, and there was evening and there was morning, the fourth day. And God said, let the waters bring forth swarms of living creatures, and let birds fly above the earth across the dome of the sky. So God created the great sea monsters and every living creature that moves of every kind with which the waters swarm and every winged bird of every kind. And God saw that it was good. God blessed them saying, be fruitful and multiply and fill the waters of the seas and let the birds multiply on the earth. And there was evening and there was morning, the fifth day. And God said, let the earth bring forth living creatures of every kind, cattle and creeping things and wild animals of the earth of every kind. And it was so. God made the wild animals of the earth of every kind and the cattle of every kind and everything that creeps upon the ground of every kind. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, let us make humankind in our image, according to our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the wild animals of the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth. So God created humankind in God's image. In the image of God, he created them, male and female. God created them. God blessed them and God said to them, be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the air and over every living thing that moves upon the earth. God said, see, I have given you every plant yielding seed that is upon the face of the earth and every tree with seed in its fruit. You shall have them for food. And to every beast of the earth, and to every bird of the air, and to everything that creeps on the earth, everything that has the breath of life, I have given every green plant for food. And it was so. God saw everything that he made, and indeed it was very good. And there was evening, and there was morning, the sixth day. Thus the heavens and the earth were finished in all their multitude. And on the seventh day, God finished the work that he had done. And God rested on the seventh day from all the work he had done. So God blessed the seventh day and hallowed it, because on it God rested from all the work that he had done in creation. These are the generations of the heavens and the earth when they were created. Now the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always to the end of the age. We give you thanks, O God, for our world, which you made and renewed. In the power of Jesus' resurrection, make us wise and careful of your gifts as we live on earth. We pray that the love which passes ceaselessly between the Creator and the Redeemer 
in the fellowship of the Holy Spirit may renew and deepen the life of each person and draw us all into your unending life. We pray for the leaders of the church, for Protestant, Roman Catholic, and Orthodox, for Sunday school children and youth, for the elderly whose wise counsel is sorely needed in all ages, and for all ecumenical endeavors that seek to bring us closer to each other and to you. We pray for the earth and all creatures and plants, for healthy water and air and soil, for policies and laws that regard our home in God's universe as a precious gift. We pray for our families, our households, and our communities, that your life together, creator, redeemer, sustainer, may show us the importance of each of us. And so strengthen us in your grace and truth. We pray for the sick and those who suffer in any way, for those who struggle to pay rent or a mortgage, for those who have no home, for those who are neglected and abused in our communities, for people who long for family and are st instead alone, for children who do not have a good guide to raise them up, and for whatever else you see that we need. Into your hands we entrust all that is of concern this day, sure that you hear our pleas, grateful that your will be done on earth as in heaven. We pray this in the name of the Savior, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Holiness, word, power. You reveal yourself as one God in three persons, a mighty, creative, life-generating dancer who invites your creation to join you. Catch us up in your love and lead us into your world to call others to follow you with singing and rejoicing. Amen. <laughs> 